Apparently, the label has confirmed a dating thing with JK as they had plastered a photo during a presentation of what people are saying about this. There's also a hilarious picture of JK kissing and what that is about. We also got to see JK's lovely relationship with a new group and what that's about. Say so dumplings is Dave Desai. Let's get into it. If you are unfamiliar, there is a group called TWS. They are a relatively new group. They just debuted less than a year ago in January. I don't know how long they had been training for, but clearly they had been doing this for a little while as they are very, very good. They recently did an interview for Billboard, which is amazing because we really wouldn't have any K-pop artists being interviewed by Billboard if it wasn't for BTS. So our boys really did pave the way and that's very cool. I like that a lot. But there was a clip that was going viral as it was being inserted into JK fan clubs and fan pages. It started to go viral within those fan pages and people have been obsessed with this clip of essentially TWS mentioning JK. So what did they say and what was mentioned? Apparently the interviewer asked one of the members who they look up to or who they are obsessed with lately. One of the members very quickly name dropped JK and said that he is obsessed with JK's vocal tone and all that stuff lately and then he went on to sing Seven. A lot of people like to use clips like this to show the impact that JK has. There's definitely a lot of impact. What people don't realize is fame is not all created the same. I think a lot of people within the BTS community are aware of that now, but probably weren't aware of that before. And definitely a lot of people outside of the community are not aware of that. So you can definitely be well known and have fans and have people that will even say they're fans of this particular celebrity, but they're not going to do things like maybe buy a ticket to see their show or even go as far as to buy all the merch that they have and buy 20 copies of their CD. Whereas that is a huge part of the BTS community and a huge part of how BTS makes so much money. So there are a lot of people who are maybe as famous as BTS, but they don't have as much impact in terms of getting people to name drop them in an interview or getting people to base their own training and their own vocal technique off of JK. And that is really the biggest success or the biggest milestone an artist can reach is when they start noticing other upcoming singers trying to mimic their style because that shows that they really paved a way and they created such a unique and original sound that a lot of people want to mimic. And I'm not trying to say anyone at TWS is mimicking JK, but they might look up to them and they might look up certain techniques and certain things that JK does and they might kind of take that for themselves, which I don't think is a bad thing. I know it's considered controversial to try to copy or mimic style, but that's essentially what you do when you start out. One of the first things I recommend to people if they want to start doing YouTube or social media is I tell them to pick a favorite YouTuber that they watch and essentially take inspiration or copy the style up. Now that's probably not going to blow up it's not going to be this super huge thing because people like to watch things that are original. And obviously don't take things like the exact lyrics or the exact editing style, none of that sort of stuff. But like take it, make it your own, and you're gonna make it your own anyway because you're not going to be able to copy exactly what they do. So even if I say copy, they're not going to be able to copy exactly. But then that's how you come up with your original style. When it becomes a little bit of this, you take a little bit from this other YouTuber and then some from yourself, same goes with music and you kind of take inspiration from different artists. And the very cool thing about just starting out is you can take the good parts of every artist that you like and then kind of recognize, oh, maybe this particular artist doesn't do very well in XYZ. I'm not going to take that part. I'm going to take this part that they do really well and kind of mix it all together to make your own thing. I'm very excited to see what TWS does next and I think their career is going to be one to watch out for. There's always so much that is going on with the boys and oftentimes a lot of different things end up telling the story for the boys before the boys get to tell their own story. And what do I mean by this? Sometimes when a photo gets posted and it goes viral and it takes on a life of its own, people tend to interpret what that photo means well before the boys could even come out and explain what the photo means. Sometimes the boys don't even come out and explain it. So it just takes its own life that it was never intended to be. One of the examples that has recently gone viral was during a press conference in which someone from the company, I don't think this is the CEO, actually don't entirely know who this is, but maybe it's one of the newer ones. They decided to go on stage and talk about the specific branding of the label, what their next strategies are. I won't get into that because that is definitely something you can watch yourself if you're very interested in that. But I think it's very cool that they do this. I mean, they have to legally do it because their shareholders have to know, but I still think it's very cool that they do this. Now on the screen behind this label staff, you could see a bunch of photos from different artists. And one of the photos that people were talking about was one that had JK and Jimin on there. 
this was one of the famous photos that they've taken. It's gone super viral within the community. People love this photo. And this is the photo in which you have Jimin's face in front of JK and they kind of like cover half of each other. And it's a very visually interesting photo. Now people are taking this photo to mean that the label has confirmed that Jimin and JK are in a relationship together, mainly because they have their show now, but mainly because this photo was during a press conference. So this would imply dating. With some people saying that since it's at a press conference and that photo is behind an executive or whoever that person is and they're discussing branding that this must mean that this is what they're trying to show the world or that they're trying to confirm that they're gay or whatever. And as always, these things are a bit of a stretch because as I'm saying it, I'm sure there's people who are thinking, wow, that's a bit of a stretch and that's not something that makes a lot of sense. Now, when I mention these things, there's always people who say that it's all of the things together. It's not just like one thing that makes them dating. It's all of the pieces of evidence. However, the evidence that's always presented is by itself. They're never presented as a collective thing and it's weird. I, I just don't know how to say it. There's also a really cute video that's been going around and that's gone slightly viral just because it's really funny and cute. Now, just to preface, I don't think anything bad of this video, even though I think some people would think that I think it's bad. No, I just think it's really cute. I think it's fun. So basically, this is a video of someone putting a lip gloss or some sort of lipstick gloss thing on JK's lips on a photo card. And then essentially, what I'm assuming they did, or what it seems like they did, is that they took the lips uh, with the lip gloss on and then printed it on V's photo card, like on his face. This is obviously to make it seem like JK is kissing V a lot. Now, of course, I'm not against this because I think it's very cute to have these moments. I don't think that anytime someone does a cute moment like this, it's implying that you are in a relationship. I think if the boys were to look at this cute photo card video, they would think that it's just funny and they probably wouldn't think much. But I'm not them. I don't know how they think, but that's how I would feel about it. Bottom line is they do love each other, whether romantically or not. They still do very much love each other. So the idea of them kissing each other and doing all that stuff is not so far out of the line as if you love someone, you might consider kissing them, right? And those kisses don't even have to be like a sexual thing. It could be like how you kiss your baby on the head or how you kiss like your four-year-old kid before you say goodbye for school or how you kiss your mom and dad. And so I think these things are funny and I like to see when the community comes together and creates really creative things that don't really incite drama or aren't really heavy and kind of light, funny things. And I just really enjoy these things. Now, my issue with these things are more so the community surrounding it rather than the actual post itself. It's just that a lot of people can take it too seriously and then it becomes this thing where it's not just a photo, it's not just a video, it becomes this thing where people are sending death threats to each other. It was interesting because the community in which I expected to send death threats is actually not the community I'm seeing sending death threats. I actually expected to see V and JK, that community who believe that those two are dating, for them to send death threats to the Jimin and JK community. However, I'm actually seeing the opposite and I actually think I'm seeing JK being some of the targets of these death threats because they're assuming that he is like sleeping around or that he's mistreating Jimin or whatever it is. This is oftentimes how the community behaves and it's so corny because you can almost predict when one of the members does something that insinuates that they're not dating or does something that makes the community upset, i.e. ruins their fantasy, then the community starts to look at JK or look at any of the members in a sour way and then anything they do gets interpreted as a horrible thing. And it's almost as if it's not even that they take their rose glasses off because if people were to take their rose glasses off, BTS and JK and all the members are still good people. It's like they take their rose glasses off and, put, and then they put on these evil, dark, ugly glasses. Take those glasses off, just wear normal glasses. That's it. We don't need anyone to wear additional glasses. It's cheaper not to wear those glasses, right? If you don't have to buy them, don't buy them. And if you do need regular glasses, then buy the regular glasses with no filter on them and see the world and the people for who they actually are, which by the way, are still amazing, great people. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you, bye.